Okay, hi folks. We are back with lesson seven today, looking at specialized cells. It's kind of a continuation from lesson six yesterday, where we looked at cancer cells and, and how they interact and, and they work with uh, within the human body. Um, in terms of the idea of specialized cells, it's it's important to remember that you know that fertilized egg that we all start as, uh, which divides via mitosis to produce two cells, is just one single cell. It's just a normal cell, but that it's not that normal. It's embryonic in the sense that it can become multiple different cells after it finishes going through many different uh, phases of mitosis. So uh, the note says after 10 days of cell division, some of the cells start to differentiate or become different from each other. Uh, by the time day 22 hits, your cells uh, can become bone, nerve, skin cells, and all the different things start to come into an alignment. So when looking at cells that have specialized or they've become something very specific, they're called, well, specialized cells, and they specialized cells have very specific functions. And as a result of these functions, um, when we think about the specialized versus non-specialized cells, it's a process that's called cellular differentiation. Uh, and again, differentiation meaning it becomes a bunch of different things. So how does that happen? Well, there are things called stem cells, and these cells have not differentiated yet, and they have the potential to become several different cell types. These embryonic stem cells are what's called potential or pluripotent, and they can become many different types of cells. An adult uh, has stem cells as well, but they have limited potential because they can only differentiate into cells of that specific tissue. These are called multipotent cells. These multipotent cells are gonna be in our bone, they become red blood cells, white blood cells, connective tissues within the blood, but they can't become a brain cell, for example, like a pluripotent cell can. And then these specialized cells uh, are both in animals and plants, but within animals and plants, they're kind of different. Um, so when we look at the structure and the function of those cells, it kind of varies based off of the type of life that it is, whether it be animal or plant. Uh, in addition to a different shape, they may also have more or less certain organelles. Differentiation, if you recall from grade nine science and, and how we looked at the, the animal cell versus the plant cell, uh, it's same thing goes between different cells within a person or within a different animal. Muscle cells need lots of energy, so they'll have lots of mitochondria. And then when we look at the four different specialized cell types in the video that was posted, uh, you can fill in this chart and then look at the cell type and then structure, structure and function and then kind of go from there. Uh, okay, folks, that's it for this lesson. If you have any questions, you know where to post them or find me. And uh, please make sure you are emailing me. I know a lot of you have been posting in the actual Google Classroom at that comment section. I don't get pinged when you post something in response to the Google Classroom. Um, so please email me either at my board email or my GAPS email, and that will ensure that I get back to you in a quicker fashion. Okay, thanks folks, stay safe.